A certain experimental drug claims a cure rate of at least 75% for a certain cancer. State the null and alternative hypotheses. Describe both the type 1 and type 2 errors in context and which error is the more serious. A cure rate of at least 75% means a cure rate of 75% or higher, which we indicate as P greater than or equal to, 75% as a decimal is 0 0.75. And if P is not greater than or equal to 0 0.75, P is less than 0 0.75. From here we know the null hypothesis has an equal symbol in it and the alternative hypothesis does not. And therefore the null hypothesis is P is greater than or equal to 0 0.75 and the alternative hypothesis is P is less than 0 0.75. And now let's determine the type one and type two errors. The type one error is a decision to reject the null hypothesis that P is greater than or equal to 0 0.75 when the null hypothesis is true. Which means in this context, the type one error is a cancer patient believes the cure rate for the drug is less than 75% when it is at least 75% or greater than or equal to 75%. And the type two error is a decision to not reject the null hypothesis when in fact the null hypothesis is false. So in this context, the type two error would be a cancer patient believes that the experimental drug has at least a 75% cure rate or a cure rate greater than or equal to 75% when in fact it has a cure rate that is less than 75%. Again, this is because the decision is to not reject the null hypothesis when in fact the null hypothesis is false. The last question is which error is more serious? Meaning is it more serious for a cancer patient to believe the cure rate for a drug is less than 75% when it's actually greater than or equal to 75% or is it more serious for a cancer patient to believe the experimental drug has a cure rate of at least 75% when in fact it is less than 75%. I think we all agree that the type 2 error is more serious or has more severe consequences. If a patient believes the drug works at least 75% of the time or 75% of the time or more, this will more likely influence the patient's and the doctor's choice about whether to use the drug as a treatment option. I hope you found this helpful.